We are glad to be able to convene this expert panel forum amidst these challenging times. That we have more than 500 delegates participating in the forum today, physically and virtually, is a testament to the importance of operational technology cybersecurity. Being a government policy maker and not a tech expert, I would like to focus my remarks on Singapore's keen interest in OT cybersecurity and share some thoughts on how we might tackle this challenge by working together. Operational technology is a mature area where companies have long learned to manage safety and risk. Whether power plants or manufacturing operations, aeroplanes or trains, autoclaves or big robots in factories, industry has had long experience in ensuring industrial and workplace safety. Regulations are in place, likewise sophisticated corporate networks and processes, practices have been worked out for some time. Digitalization and connectivity have created a totally new security challenge and risk. Until recently, most machines in the OT space were not digital in nature. And most importantly, they were not connected to the internet or connected digitally to other machines in global networks. Operations may have been computerized, but OT systems were generally designed to be air-gapped. CSA has initiated this because we recognize that cyber attacks have crossed from the digital to the physical realm more aggressively in recent years. Cyber physical attacks are not new, but they have grown in number and in impact. As more industries adopt operational technology to manage their systems and meet the growing demand, the attack surface increases. And as cyber crime becomes increasingly lucrative and easier to conceal using cryptocurrencies, the attacks will increase. These two trends are distressing. We need to keep abreast with the evolving OT cybersecurity landscape and take proactive actions. A paradigm shift in the security culture of our organizations and the cybersecurity approach has to be made. We must invest in and prioritize OT cybersecurity. When you look at forums like this, bringing folks together from around the international community, it's obvious that the impact is in sharing lessons learned, insights, uh, kind of best practices around what does, and most importantly, sometimes what doesn't work. Also, kind of uniquely, when you look at kind of how the cybersecurity agency is structured and what's going on in Singapore, for a country, to get this problem right, to show what's doable across multiple times of industrial infrastructure, and again, with government support with public and private partnership, that's a message to the globe, right? That, that's a message to the international community on what's doable. I think oftentimes in the OT community, we lack those examples. When people get it right, they don't really like to go out and talk about what they're doing, and that makes it look like not a lot's happening, even though a lot is. So again, for something like this, to take those examples, bring them together, then go put it in action after the forum, and then broadcast out what success looks like, it's very impactful. I think a forum like this is absolutely critical. Um, OT security is not isolated to a plant or to Singapore or to even a region. This is an international problem. And so it's absolutely critical that an operator of a critical system, the government, whoever it is, sort of learns from what's going on in other facilities, in other regions, in other countries. You know, take, for example, regulations. There are regulations that have been highly successful in other countries, and there's regulations that have not been successful. It's really important and this, to, to take advantage of those learnings, and a, an event like this is that opportunity to take advantage of those learnings, to, to really understand what's going on in the world and, and move towards best of breed. A 
our attendees have been hearing from the regulators, from the policy makers for the longest time. We thought it is time for them to take a different perspective and listen to the practitioners from the uh, international uh, arena. Cybersecurity is not a local game, it is an international uh, the knowledge comes from collective knowledge around the cybersecurity practitioners around the world and this forum allows them to uh, assess this plunk knowledge from practitioners of this area. I think the forum has been very useful um, in sharing from thought leaders especially about what are the threats that we are facing today and what can we actually do about it. I think one of the key takeaways that I've taken away especially from yesterday was that doing less is actually more. Um, there's no need to do a whole lot of compliance checks and ticking of boxes but it's really about understanding our risk levels and how to mitigate them by doing the least. Um, I think the other takeaway I had was about people. That today we are very dependent on our people to actually defend our networks, defend our OT systems. And if we have very good people, there's no way that attackers will be able to catch up with us. Mm -hmm.